What is up my wonderful wacky wookies? Today we're gonna go through how to activate those player nodes, how to bridge those tracks to gyrate, and how to assign those tracks to your nodes and or to a community player node so you can start earning those sweet, sweet beams. So stay tuned as always down below are great links to use. And if you do use my link, I appreciate it so much. It helps my channel. So let's jump right in. <laughs> So jumping right in, very first thing we want to do is activate our nodes. So you're going to go to your drop down, go to my player nodes. As soon as you jump into there, you are going to see right around here a button that says activate your node. It's that simple. Click it. You're going to enter in your password, your two-factor ID or whatever. Get ready. You're going to enter a lot of passwords while you're doing this process. Once you get your two nodes popped up, they're going to come up here with a... Uh, weird name it'll be like gala blah 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 so of course first thing you want to do is click on your node go ahead and go to this edit button right here and change the name of your node so that uh, it's easy for you to go back and forth once you scroll down you will see your node has 10 open spots okay so what you can do is you can either pair your tracks to here or make sure that this is on and somebody from the community will actually be able to host their tracks on your uh, node what's cool is you can actually uh, hover and see da druid is hosting his no uh, uh what is that track rune from lucas proof on uh my node here and then uh also you can see okay i got 10 out of 10 tracks hosting the last day's rewards the total rewards weekly rewards so it's pretty cool it kind of gives you some information so you can click and back and forth between your nodes or click up top to switch to the other node you can see i have two open slots here uh, I have somebody here who's popping up and down, which is kind of funny. MJQ, he's uh, got Crippy Enthusiasm on here, and then somebody else. So I got two two on here, one on the other, and I got, I'm going to add a couple other here, and then I'm going to actually take this guy out. Why am I going to take this guy out? Well, I have two of out of season, so I have one here and one on my other node. Both these nodes are located at the same spot. We know that geographically uh, it's going to matter in the future. I don't know if it matters right now, but it is going to matter in the future, so it's uh, kind of dumb for me to have both of my out of seasons in the same exact location in my house. So uh, I'll go ahead and end up moving that on to just community hosting. So next thing you're going to want to do is bridge those tracks. So you're going to go ahead and go to your venue, go to my collection. Right there in your face will be a button that says bridge my tracks. And if you click that, you will see what tracks you can bridge over. Remember, if it's in your treasure chest, you actually have to mint it to the Ethereum first. Um, if you go ahead and just click that, see how many you want and click continue, it will give you the wrong amount of gas. So this is not the right amount of gas because I don't have a lot of Ethereum. I can't actually do it through this way, but um, supposedly it only charges you the correct amount. You can also do it through Gala Games. Uh, I know the Gala Games site very well. Same thing, you can choose to bridge to Ethereum. Obviously it's giving me a much lower number. And I have my ledger set up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm. And then I gotta click my buttons. and accepted on my ledger now this process to bridge over takes about five to ten minutes so once it's uh, bridged over we will go ahead and move on to assigning the tracks so obviously the biggest downside to using gala games to bridge your tracks is when you uh, bridge your tracks from here you can actually do all of them right so you can do a huge batch transaction so hopefully the uh, estimated gas will kind of get fixed here soon once you get that bridged over though you're going to go back to your player nodes once you go to your player nodes, you can go ahead and either click your music or you can go to your one of your nodes. So I'm going to go to one of my nodes, show you how to pair it. Very simple. You obviously just click an open track slot. Here is my bass jackers. Now, if you have more than one, you got to click this little down arrow so you can see both of them. OK, so I'm only going to choose one of them. Click continue. Of course, you got to type that in and then you're going to have to go ahead and type in your 2FA. So I got to pull that up here real quick. Um, now, you don't always have to type in your... Uh, 2FA if, um, you know, it's not working or whatever, but, um, or you don't have it enabled. Um, but so far I've had to enter it into a lot of stuff. So now we got it on there. Boom. How easy was that? So you can go ahead and do that in your track slots. Now, what else you can do? Cause I'm only going to keep one of these, uh, bass jackers on my nodes is my other one. I'm going to go ahead and click that same thing down arrow. You're going to click on the one that says not hosted. And then you can go ahead and click host selected tracks. You can click that on all the ones that you want to host somewhere else. You click confirm, same thing. You're going to go ahead and put in your password. And then it's going to be hosted on somebody else's track somewhere else. Now, what's super cool is you can actually see where things are hosted. Once again, you have to click the down arrow if you want to see exactly where. This says player has all that information. How cool is that? When it's uh, how much player uptime has been on? Uh, what date is it? 
currently, um, you know, which node it is, or if it's on a community player and look at that, it'll actually tell you exactly who is hosting your track, uh, Farhana Afrin. Um, and so that's pretty cool. You can scroll down and you can see exactly where all your tracks are. And then of course you can kick tr people off your tracks or off your nodes. So, um, you know, if you like go to, go to this person, um, whoops, that wasn't how you do it. So if you, uh, go to that node, um, you can go ahead and just turn off community hosting and it'll remove anybody who's on your uh, node, of course. Um, and then as we progress along, you can add more slots on by using your beams, which beams will be turned into G Music tokens in the future. And that's how you activate your node, bridge the tracks and assign them to uh, locations. And then of course, this site does have great, great detail on you know how much rewards you're getting, total rewards, um, the uptime so it's, it's pretty cool the stats and the data is here which is pretty neat it's not my favorite site i think the biggest thing i don't like about it is when you go to the store um you're going to go ahead and just click discover to go to the store and then you kind of have to scroll through people um, or you can search specific tracks if you know the name um, or you can click artists and you have to kind of click through i just it's not my favorite setup but that's fine. I've heard lots and lots of people say they actually really do like this setup, um, and that's cool. Everybody with the little music note are people you can actually host beams against. If you don't know what that is, if you go to uh, an artist, you can actually stake your beams against a uh, uh, artist. Now, what that does is, one, it does give you staking, basically 18% reward stake, right? And then those uh, staked rewards you can use for different things like uh, let's pretend Triz is making a friendship bracelet. Uh, you can spend like rewards uh, that you're earning uh, to you know ship a friendship bracelet that he made or something. The biggest thing with holding beams against them though is you get level one, two, le and three. The nice thing is when you hit level two, holding 500 beams or more against an artist, when they drop new tracks, you can actually get a 5% discount on that track and you're getting pre-sale access. So about an hour before the drop actually occurs, um, you can get their new track. So that's gonna be pretty cool. It'll be interesting to see how many beams you have to hold against uh, people like Kings of Leon or Snoop Dogg or people like that. Um, and then you enter into a monthly giveaway that they're going to be doing exclusive discord access access to the artist you know artist content stuff like that and if you're holding a thousand or more additional exclusive rewards which they have not uh, mentioned what those are exactly yet then you can actually see who the top five fans are so who's holding the most um beams against these folks i call them beams now this will be g music token from what i've heard it is going to be a one-to-one -one, uh, transition once it gets launched and that'll be launched on uh, we got that strategic announcement today or yesterday. I don't remember when, but Gala will be partnering with Hubi and uh, launching the G Music token on there, as well as integrating the Layer 1 Gala chain with them as well. So that is pretty cool. Uh, a few other things about the site. Obviously, you always want to be on dark. Uh, don't be crazy and then have it on light. I don't know who does that. If you go to All Access, this will be where we'll end up being able to see specific things on your top performing artists and different things that they're offering. Um, earning points is when you're holding the beams against them. Uh, that'll be rolling out here in a little bit later. And then, of course, about just talking about how many artists they got right now, how many tracks. So they are up and coming. They're still building. I'd say we are still quite early right now, but we got the the players uh, player nodes going and uh, we are rolling right now. So we're able to listen to music. That's the last thing I don't like is I don't like how the music thing is set up here where you have to click in the bottom right, pull this up, um, choose like different things to play next. I want it to be a little more simple where I can actually make like a playlist or multiple playlists and put different artists in there uh, that I want to listen to. That would be okay. Um, or some kind of other little music player. I do know that they are working on an app. That's the number one thing that I want is obviously a G music app. Um, so I can be listening to it everywhere uh, with simplicity. You can't pull this up and actually listen to it like in your car through Bluetooth and stuff, but it's just more complicated, right? And we're trying to reduce friction to get more people onboarded. So anyways, I uh, hope that was uh, very useful for you. And I'll always stay warm, Wookiees. <laughs>